today I'm going to introduce um, Songs and Games Phonics, which has been published by Fun Kids English. Greg, who's been helping us today, has um, is one of the owners of Fun Kids English. And Songs and Games Phonics is a, a course for kindergarten and young elementary school children. It's a holistic course. It combines songs and games and actions all, all together. So the children have a, like a total learning experience. That is the idea. And that approach is generally suitable for kindergarten and younger elementary school children. As children get older, they become a little bit maybe more self-conscious about doing a lot of that stuff. But the first few grades of elementary school should be should be fine. But there is writing in the course, so that may make some parts of it a little bit difficult for the very young kindergarten children. But, you know, you can also, of course, uh, just play down the writing. Um, it's, it's, it's an option. Let's just look at this a bit more closely. So there are two books. This is an example of the, the first book focuses on the simple vowels and uh, the concept. It starts with the vowels and, and then through the consonants and then combining vowels and consonants and then consonant vowel. Con it, it builds the, um, the children's ability to, to read and pronounce sounds from, 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 from letters through to words and then the words become more and more difficult gradually. But the first book doesn't go very far. It, it basically still using the, the basic vowel sounds. And it's not until the second book that other combinations are used. Book two introduces all kinds of combinations, E and U and R and so on, and magic E and that kind of thing. Those of you who are familiar with finding out will recognize this, this um, sequence is very compatible with this, the sequence in finding out. This course can be used in one of really three situations. This is a phonics course, and so it can be used as a phonics component of any course. If you're using a different textbook as your, your main textbook, you can use Songs Games Phonics for the phonics component of that course. If you are using Finding Out, as I'm, I know some of you are, then you can use it in kindergarten to prepare for Finding Out. Or you can use it as a supplement to finding out in elementary school. I mean, finding out itself can be used in the last year of kindergarten, but not younger than that. You notice that the colors of the books are the same as the colors of the first two levels of finding out. So Songs and Games Phonics 1 covers many, um, basically fits the same sequences in finding out, but it just doesn't go quite as far as finding out book one. It, it covers up to about unit 11 of uh, unit 10 of finding out. And uh, Songs and Games Phonics 2, those of you who are using finding out or using another course for elementary school, maybe in the first year you do a lot of phonics and then you move on from phonics, but the children often forget phonics or they become weaker at using phonics. And so this book is designed to remedy that. Songs and Games Phonics 2 is designed to sort of supplement finding out to or an equivalent level for another course so that the children don't forget phonics. They have like a, a phonics component, which has built-in review of what they would have studied in maybe their first year. That is basically how it fits in with finding out. There's also a lot of interactive worksheets, which can be used with both courses. And I'll talk about those in a little bit. There's kind of thousands of them, which will go with both, which are going with both courses. Let me just move on a little bit and, and then that'll make sense in a minute. Let's just look briefly look at um, look at a sample unit. This is book one, unit five. Each unit has six pages. The first page of a unit is a coloring page and also introduces the, the language target. In this case, it's four sounds like watch and fish and is you know it's it's introducing the phonics with an anchor word and then the second page of a unit is a song a listening song let's do that actually let's um let's listen to that song and um let's see how i can do this um here we are right 
What am I doing wrong? Well, I can hear a little bit, but like super low. David, um, when like you turn on the screen, yeah. stand up, up, stand up, turn now around. Now we hear it. Okay. Sorry about that. I, I was doing something wrong. It'll be better for the next share, I hope. All right. So anyway, that is a that is a combines listening and then moving into action. So in this case, they're joining the they do a, a writing. They join the the letter with the anchor word. They join the the W with the watch and so on while they're listening. And then they can do actions like turn around and dance and that kind of thing, which fits the song. So it's a total, you know, it's total experience. It, basically, it's using traditional things, matching sounds with pictures, matching letters with pictures, but making it into more of a more of an immersion activity. The third page of the unit is a game. This is an example of a game. This is a, a reading game. So the children would start on the, the rocket on the bottom part of the screen, and then they throw a dice. And if they move, uh, throw one or a two, they go to the, the the planet with a J in it, and they pronounce it J ja or J ja jacket, and so on. And then they throw the dice again, and they try to get through this, this these planets to the, the the planets at the other side. Now you can use these kinds of games in the book, but there's also free downloads of. A3 versions, which you can print out of these games. The last three pages of the unit, there's another song. La, la, lion, la, la, lion, wa, wa, watch, wa, wa, watch, fa, fa, fish, fa, fa, fish, the, the violin. I like cats, I like dogs, I don't like snakes, I don't like frogs. I like cats, I like dogs, I don't like snakes and frogs. Anyway, you get the idea, and then... For the first verse, they have examples of, you know, I like cats, I like dogs. But the second, by the second verse, they are just shouting out what they like or they don't like. And so that's just, the, again, it's, it's mixing. It's phonics with, in this case, with conversation. And, of course, they can do actions to go with this song. Let's, um, let's uh, go back to the, I probably should have set this up a little bit differently, but never mind. Then the last two pages of the books are writing. And this is where, you know, for the very, very young children, this is sometimes an issue. But, you know, it's not it's not very difficult. In this case, they're just writing letters next to the, the words, um, next to the pictures. In maybe in book two, that may be difficult, but you probably wouldn't use book two with the very, very young children. Okay, let's move on. This is uh, this is an example of book two. So book two, again, has the, the colouring on the first page, identifying the, 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 the targets for this unit. Then you've got another listening kind of song. Um, let's, let's listen to this. Maybe I'm getting a bit better at this now, I hope. Let's make a cake, let's make a child. I'll just give you an idea. If you go back to the, if we go back to this um, this image, you will see that this is actually then they're, while they're listening, they're joining joining the, in this case, make with a cake, and it's like let's make a cake, let's make a chocolate cake. So they join chocolate and cake, and that is the idea. And then it extends into into other activities. And the last, uh, the third. Page of the unit is another game. This case, this is an example. This is a, a football soccer game. And the children again throw a dice and they move backwards and forwards. And if they land on a player of their own team, they throw the dice again. 
and they read the words as they land on it. All of these games have two versions. They have one version where the language targets are written on the board like this with, you know, this is practicing magic ease. Have they got words like bake or cape or late? They don't need to know these words. It's not about knowledge. Um, they read them. In fact, it's better if they don't recognize them as whole words. They want that they sound them out and read them. And then they may become interested and say, cape, well, what's a cape? You know, or they may guess what a cape is. But the idea is that when they first read them, they don't need to know what the word is before they read it. So that's why there's sometimes difficult vocabulary here. It doesn't matter. They need to have practice in sounding out and reading new words, words they've never seen before. That's the main value of phonics, that it actually enables them to do that. It's not about just this is what they know so far. This is what we should practice. It's not. It's about reaching out to new knowledge as much as possible. But there's another version of all of these games where there are no words on the game. There's just a blank. There's, the pictures are there, but the words are not there. So that you can use them for different language targets. So all of these games can be used for, for you can use them for anything. And all of these are free downloads. And I'll show you where to get the free downloads in a minute. The last three pages of the unit, uh, it's another song. Let's um, let's try and do that. Uh, oh, Dave the ape, he made a mistake. He made a big mistake. Oh, Dave the ape, he ate the cakes. He ate too many cakes. So he aches and aches and aches and aches and shakes. Shakes and shakes and shakes. Oh, Dave the ape, he made a big mistake. Okay. So notice that that song is practicing magic E with A. So all of them have, all of these, these songs are related to the target of the unit, of course. Okay. This is book two. The crossword is going to be difficult for the very young children but anyway they're going to need time before they get to book two anyway so let's just look at where those downloads come from probably many of you would have seen this site ltpdownloads.com on that site there's lots and lots of free downloads there's there's downloads for scott's materials for amy's materials for greg's materials there's lots and lots of different downloads song downloads and it's all free so when you go to that site, this is what you see. And if you see here, you'll see different materials. And if you click on Songs and Games Phonics, actually, if you go to this page, you can look at the top. You can scroll through the whole books here. If you, if you, if you can scroll through the whole book, you can see the whole book here if you want to, if you want to look at it. And also down here, there's down all the songs can be downloaded and there's also karaoke versions of the songs so that you can use them for to vary the language targets and also so the children can sing without reading there's the board games and karaoke versions of the board games means the board games with no words on them there's posters there's flashcards and song transcripts these are specifically for songs and games phonics and then if if we go back to New Finding Out, because the, the, the language sequence of New Finding Out is similar to, very compatible with the language sequence of Songs Against Phonics, it means many of the materials downloads can also be used. So, for example, you could use uh, some of the games, for the online games, for example. Let's try a, a, a gorilla, shall we? So in this case, what happens is the children choose a color, they choose the size of the image, and they, they just draw like that, or they choose a different color, and they draw like this. So they got these are, these are coloring books, but of course they color the letters, they color the, the animals, and, and there are lots and lots of different images to, to color. This is very suitable for, for kindergarten children. Or if we go back, this is, can also be used with Songs and Games Phonics. So let's say we want to do something with letters. 
what should we do? Maybe do something a little bit more difficult, words perhaps, basic words. This, so um, this is the sort of thing they do. And um, I have to remember this. Um, And these get long. This is the sort of game the children can play online to go to go with this, uh, or just one more briefly. And these can be used. All of this is suitable. The, the lower levels of these games are very suitable for um, to use with songs and games phonics. Here's another example. Let's also do one with do one with longer words. So in this case, they 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 spell words, and if they make a mistake, they lose a life. There's lots of things which happen in this game. So what I'm trying to say is, there's lots of overlap between finding out and songs against phonics in terms of the language targets, and so. A lot of the activity the downloads can, of all kinds can be used with both. I won't do more on that right now. Let's go back to the to the PowerPoint. This is the download site where you can find all of that kind of stuff. And now what I'd like to introduce also today is the new interactive worksheets. These I'm hoping will be ready later this month or, or maybe next month. This is a system which is especially useful if you use it for homework or also for, for um, if the children, uh, if you, you got partially online or fully online. What this happens is that you can upload a worksheet to this system and the children can use it online on any screen, not just typing on it, they can draw on it, they can draw on it, they can write with their, they can write on it. You know, if it's got a touch screen, they write with their finger. If it's on a on a on a, with a mouse, they write with their mouse, and so they can write anywhere. And then they save it, and then you can see what they've done. You can correct it, and they can see your corrections. So everything could be totally online, and it's the sort of thing which you can use. You can you can do it in class if you've got a you know if you want to the children you, you can monitor what they're doing if they're using screens in class. They could do it in in, in many different ways. And these are examples of some of the types of worksheets from Songs and Games Phonics. I'm going to give a, a bit of a demonstration of this so you get a, a better idea. When you, if you have this system, when you go, the teacher has a kind of, uh, has a, a kind of master screen where you have your, your worksheets. You can upload any worksheet. You can upload PDFs, um, JPEG files, PNGs, almost anything you can upload to this 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 system. Now, what I've I've made um, about three thousand worksheets to go with Songs Against Phonics and to go with Finding Out. So that is, uh, you know, if you're using this course, course, these are already made. But you can also make your own worksheets. When you go to this this system, you go into the uh, your system and you click on this here, which is add a new worksheet, and then you up you just upload the worksheet. You get this and you upload it here. You you select it from your computer or you drag and drop it here. And then once it's uploaded, you get this, this control. You've got one worksheet here. And if you click on share, that is basically to share a link to the children in your class. When you click on share, you get this screen. Now you've got a, a link here. You can share it with your children, however you communicate with them. You could do it through line. You can do it through email. You can also do it through Google Classroom. If you click this here, you click this here. You you go to Google Google Classroom. Sorry about that. But if you or you can copy the link, and then you, once the children have the link, they go to this. Is what they see. This is an example of a worksheet, and. Um, you can see at the top of the screen there's very simple controls. You've got a, a pencil, which means they draw on the screen, an eraser, which means they just erase whatever they drew. The third 
control is for typing. And the other ones you don't need to worry about just erasing and that kind of thing. You can watch how this works. You can see I'm drawing on the screen, I'm drawing that D, uh, and then if I want to erase it, I go up to the eraser and I can go back and I can just erase it if I want to. I can also, not on this worksheet, but I can also type anywhere on the screen if I want to. One of the great things about this is you can literally type anywhere. You just select a place and just type it. You don't need it for this for this particular worksheet, but for for older children, you may want to do that. A lot of systems, you can only type in certain places on a page, but in this case, you can just select anywhere on the page and type it. And it works on any screen. You can work it, do it on phones, you can do it on iPads, you can do it on, on computers, of course. This is basically the, the new system. Also, as long as you have up to three worksheets live, at, um, you know, in your library at the same time, it's completely free. If you want to have, you know, use it more of a system with more worksheets and that kind of thing, there is a there's a monthly fee of um, I think it's going to be 700 yen a month. But for most purposes, it's completely free. So that is the interactive worksheet, and it's nearly ready, but not quite. And it works. It's just, for example, the all the, the instructions are, need to be in Japanese, and they need to be in Japanese with furigana. There's all kinds of things which are being tidied up now. So um, I hope it'll be ready very soon. So Songs Against Phonics starts with the vowels, the same as Finding Out starts with the vowels, for many reasons. I mean, the, the a, apple, a, elephant, it's the basic sound of that the children start from. I think any sequence of phonics if a child has a has a problem in their especially in their reading if they have a problem with their reading you need to you need to have a sequence where you can go back down the sequence find out where the problem is and then build back up from it again that is a test of a good phonic sequence i think and at the starting point i think for sounding out words is the vowel and there's another reason when japanese children come into class for the first time and they come across english letters they learn the vowels. If they learn the vowels, a, e, i, a, a, they think it, they feel it's familiar because Japanese is learned in the same way. A very important part of learning is to build from where the children are now, not to sort of suddenly do something which is really difficult. And that's a really comfortable first step. Let's just look at a, um, a give an example of a video from that. So. Okay. So that, that is an example of the kind of song at that at that stage. So the second stage is of course is of course the consonants. And at this stage, I've given one example of a song, but I'll I'll give I'll give another example. I'm sorry I'm, I'm chopping and changing so much. I probably should have set this up differently, but somehow never mind. It, it at least the sound comes through well. I'm great. 
and um, all of all of these videos have. Um, karaoke versions, they have the, the version first with words, and then they have the version without words. And of course, you, in audio, of course, you can use either. So this, this means that you can, uh, you know, you can vary the letters. You, if you like, if the children like a particular song, you can use it for, for different letters. It's easy to do. You just use the karaoke version. After you have the vowels, the consonants, the next step, which is often neglected, sadly, in with many courses, is combining vowels and consonants. This is a really important step because the, you want the children to read this as ag, not ag, or something like that. And the, and the best way to deal with that is not to explain it or teach it, but just to play a lot of games where that's what they say. And they sing songs where that's what they hear and that's what they sing. So that they pick it up, they acquire it through 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 doing it. Let's let's um give an example of the kind of song. I don't have a video of this. Is that the video is actually being being made at the moment. It's, it's, it'll be the new one, I think, in about a week. But this is an example of uh, of a video of a of a of an audio at this stage. Um, sorry. Up, 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 round and round. Round and round, round and round, up, 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 round and round, round and round I go. Odd, 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 up and down, up and down, up and down. And um, if you, if you go back to, if I go back to the original, You'll, you'll see what they're doing here. So if you go back to, this is the song. So in this case, they're reading app, 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 round and round. But of course, what you do is that after they, they can sing the song, then you change the vowel constant combination. You write another different constant combination on the board or on a screen so that they, they, you can vary it so that the children acquire through singing and of course, through games they're playing at the same time, they acquire the ability to read it as app, not appa. So you don't need to explain it. You don't need to teach it. They just they just do it and have fun with it and, and get total involvement. And also, in this case, they're answering questions. They're doing actions. They're doing, you know, round and round, up and down, fast and slow, in and out. So it's a total learning experience. The next stage is, of course, Moving into constant vowel constants. Let's do a song from this stage so that you get the idea. It's a bus, it's a leg, it's a hat, and it's a bag. It's a bus, it's a leg, it's a hat, and it's a bag. Ha ha ha, ho ho ho, mouth and ears and So you, you get the idea. So the chor during the chorus is a bit like head and shoulders. They just touch different parts of their body. Um, that is that is how it works. And um, let's go back to the. And then after that, we go into longer words. There's songs with with longer words. I, I'm not going to do every song. This is uh, there are many examples of this. Then there's special combinations, and this goes on to book two. Let's just briefly do a couple of examples of songs with special combinations. And then we'll have time for questions. Okay. Five green beetles are sleeping in a tree. Five green beetles are sleeping in a tree. But one green beetle sneezes in the tree. So four green beetles are sleeping in a tree. That's an example. And let's try, um, let's try one more. 
I'm a ch ch chimp. I'm a ch ch chimp. I'm a ch ch chimpanzee. I itch and scratch and scratch and itch. I'm a ch ch chimpanzee. I'm a chimp. I'm a chimp. I'm a ch ch chimpanzee. I eat my lunch sitting on a branch. I'm a ch ch The song, the song gets faster and faster. Uh, anyway, that's a, a very hurried overview of the book. Any questions? <laughs> Anything you'd like to know about any of that? How many of these books do you have? Like right now you showed us two. And you said yeah, that you would use them for lower uh, elementary school. Well, I think it's it's for yeah. The the, the Songs and Games Phonics has two levels. Yeah. Sorry, so, sorry. do you have also books that would um, go go further, or that would add on after after those two books? Well, um, that's basically what Finding Out does. Okay. Really, okay. okay. Find, so finding Out. Finding, finding out has out? five levels. Okay, okay, that's what I wanted to. And finding out has five levels, but finding out is a general course. It's it's phonics plus conversation. It's 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 like it's a general course for children. Um, um, uh, songs against phonics is is a is a phonics course. So it's one it's a one it's a one component. So for elementary school, I, I would you know use probably um, songs against phonics as a supplement to finding out as an extra for extra phonics. That's how. Whereas at kindergarten, and again at kindergarten, you can use it. You can use songs again phonics to you know to go with another course, or you can, if you want to focus on phonics specifically, then of course you can use just use that course. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like um, I sometimes I have elementary school students, and they have basic no no knowledge about any English. So I would like to have something that I could use for the first one to three years. And using your two phonic books, for example, together with the uh, other books would be um, perfect. So they have yeah. phonics plus a, a proper book, plus phonics plus a proper book. And then right. from the third <laughs> well, one, they can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not, Songs in Phonics is not a general course. It's, it's, it's a phonics component of a course. So you can use it in, you know, together with any course if you, if you want to. It just happens to be especially compatible with finding out because the phonic sequence is the same. Um, so, so that's all, yeah. Yeah, I, I really like the wh where you start from. Like uh, when you showed us uh, the book, first you use the uh, vowels and then the, it, it's basically like I learned German too. When I was uh, in okay. elementary school, German basically also does not learn the alphabet uh, right. in order. And that is like super important because you should use what is used the most in the beginning. And that's why it's I like this. I think. Yeah. yeah, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, I absolutely. I think it's more logical. If you, you know, I think the alphabet is, it, it's okay. It's only, it's only, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, it's a convention. It's not really from a learning point of view, it's not particularly helpful. And it's, you know, it just <laughs> encourages the children to memorize rather than think about what they're doing. <laughs> So, okay. Any other any other questions? Oh, I've got a I've got a um, a question whether they're suitable for grades five and six. I, I find with the the um, older elementary school children, they're much more self conscious about doing things which revolve around songs. I mean, if you if if you um, you know, if you're lucky, and it's not just me. There's a lot of research to show that. You know that that there's a lot of research. Um, as I mentioned, I've done videos on 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 um, using music in the classroom, and it's, it's clear that research is that younger children is um, songs are especially useful with younger children, and they become less so. But it depends on the class, you know. Yeah, it, 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 it's not every class is not like that, uh, but just on average. And so, uh, grade 
five or six, I think that, um, you know, you, we use the approach in finding out, I think, where there are occasional songs, but it's not like the, 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 the base of the course. Okay, um, I've got a question of whether all of these books are interactive. No, they are physical books. Songs Against Phonics is a physical book, um, but there's also lots of interactive worksheets to go with it. So you, the, the book itself, you don't, you don't have to use the interactive um, part of it if you don't want to. This is just these days, that's what a lot of, I, I think, teachers need, um, especially because we don't know, you know, you may have to teach online again. I hope you don't, but, but it might happen. And it's necessary to have a, to, you know, to, not to suddenly help, what do I do? It needs to be built into a course, I think. So that's why I've made all of those worksheets. As I said, there's about 3,000 worksheets to go with um, Songs Against Phonics and, and Finding Out. Um, that's for the whole the whole program. And they, um, you know, you can, you can, or you can make your own worksheets to, to, and, and use the same system. Um, should they children be able to recognize both up and level lowercase alphabet when they swap? No, uh, they can learn it. Uh, they learn it. So they, if they don't already recognize it, no problem. They 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 can learn it as uh, um, so they learn both. Um, there's more there's more use of the lowercase, uh, but they need to. Um, uh, but but they they learn they, they play 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 games. For example, there are um, they can do word searches, and you find that the in the word search it has a letter in the uppercase, but then they write the word in the lowercase. That is the the kind of puzzle, the game. So the idea is switching between one and the other is very important. Um, no, the, the 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 part of the Fun Kids English curriculum. Um, the the recordings are made by um, Greg and BJ, who are the um, who are Fun Kids English. The artwork is done by Fun Kids English. The book is published by Fun Kids English, but the um, the 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 system is 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 a uh, is not a Fun Kids English system. It's 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 a it's a it's a it's a different system. So you know the Fun Kids English materials are. Uh, the funky English songs are, are are different. These are unique songs for the Songs and Games Phonics books. Um, uh, oh, yeah, sorry. I, I must have, a number of people asked the same question. I just make this clear. It is a physical book. <laughs> it is not, a, um, the books are not just, the interactive stuff is to supplement the physical book. Um, okay. So that it sounds like it's just about it, and I'm, I've, I've, my time is up. So um, I will, not just for my presentation, but for Scott's presentation and for Amy's presentation, I will be sending a follow-up email. If you've registered, you will receive that email. Um, so if you haven't uh, registered, um, I suggest you register so that you get it. And that will have, include links to recordings of today's video, plus... Um, information on where you can get the downloads and um, information on um you know where, where you can get the books and see samples of the books okay thank you very much sorry that was so rushed and um never mind <laughs> okay thank you i'll i'll we'll have a um a 10 minute break now and then um so uh 3 10 um amy, dave and amy will start their presentation so thank you very much